Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm gonna grill a rack of lamb with a bunch of uh, spices on the on the grill. And uh, also I'm gonna have some uh, buffalo buffalo hot wings right there. Okay, so let's uh, let's get starting and show you how to mix all this. Um, here I have some uh, paprika, garlic, uh, salt and pepper, thyme, rosemary, and uh, some butter. All right. Okay, so uh, you get all the all the, the spices. I just put it in here. I'm gonna mix them together. So get the paprika, the garlic, uh, salt and pepper, uh, thyme, rosemary. Uh, butter right here. There we go. I'm gonna make like a basting, like a, like a bass paste. And I also have some uh, lemon juice, fresh, right here. Let me see how can I just get this out in here, just like this, like this. Okay. You see all this, and uh, I'm gonna try to use my manual. Like this. exercise so you can see I'm gonna try to mix them together I don't have a fancy one but this will work it's gonna cut everything into pieces hopefully This tool is very cheap, it's like 10 bucks. You can find it online or in the store. It's very useful. It's like a chainsaw. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, let's, let's take a look. Let me see if I can open it. Yep, that looks good. Okay, let me take this thing out right there. All right, so you have everything in here. I'm gonna mix it more this and I just get it gonna get this mm, smells amazing just try to like bash it on like this just like this that's the back side where the membrane is that's it's not gonna stick in there but you can do the meat you work it out it's easy it's just garlic Turn this around really quick. Nice and easy. There we go. this rest in here so uh, every all this mix is gonna go inside a little bit just I guess I'll try to just put it on in there it's not like it's gonna definitely give give this lamb a good flavor okay I'm gonna save this for later Let's, uh, let's get started with the grill. Alright, so I'm here by, by the fire. Uh, in today's video I'm gonna use the smaller Weber I have. It's an 18 inch, it's more for like camping, but it's perfect for uh, one person, two person, even four person can make uh, good, very good meals in here. So, let me fire this Weber briquette, Weber uh, fire starter. Okay. All right. So this one, fire should be ready in uh, 10 minutes, 15. I'm gonna use uh, two direct, two, in, uh, two zones in here again. Half of the grill is gonna be lit right there and the other safe zone in here. I'm gonna put the lamb on the indirect side 
and then I'm gonna sear it on the on the fire right there. Alright, I'll be right back. Okay, so over here, since it's cold outside, and I put hot butter in there, the butter like uh, isn't soft anymore. So I'll, I'll just put butter, a lot of butter in there, a lot of this mix in there. And while the when the heat is gonna the heat is gonna heat heat it up, uh, it's gonna melt down, and you know it's gonna like smoothly go down inside. We'll see. Yeah, and uh, these hot wings is for my my wife. She doesn't like wine at all. So yeah. Alright, All right, I'm back. Uh, it's been like 10 minutes already, so I mean, it's kind of windy today. I'm gonna put this down for a second. I'm gonna let the fire chill in here for another 5 minutes. And uh, I'll be back. Okay, let's check it out. I already cleaned the grates and uh, as you see I put the half, half of it is charcoal and half of it is empty like a safety zone. Um, okay, let me spray, spray the spray it's really quick right here. Okay. Alright, so we got the meat right here. Let me, let me see if I can get it with one hand. It's nice and easy. Got it right there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay right there. I'm gonna lift this up. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna let it let it chill in here for a while, and um, it should turn color and nice and be nice. Okay. Yeah, that's how it looks. I'm gonna put the lid back on. By the way, this is a Weber Jumbo Joe 18 inch. It's portable. Uh, I installed this handle in, in here for e easier access. You can spin it easier, and I also put this stem gauge in there, as you can see. So let me turn the van down a little bit. Okay. And this one too. This is like a little blood brother of this this other 22 inch kettle I have here. Very good for small cooks. You can see for already 400 degrees. This perf is gonna stay there. Okay, I'll be back in 10 minutes. All right, so it's been like around seven, eight minutes since it's uh, on indirect side. Let me crack this open in here and uh, take a look. Mmm, smells good. Okay, let me get my brush. You see the, the bottom melted down and it's got all these spices in here. The color looks nice. Try to put it everywhere. There we go, look at that. Mm. There you go. I wish you were here to smell it, man. It smells, mm, it smells really good. I'm gonna let it chill another 10 minutes and uh, I'll come back and check the temperature. And, uh, We'll, we'll, we'll get, we'll go from there. Oh, I'm here by the fire again. The, it's been another 10 minutes. So the colors already changed. I already checked in, in, uh, the temperature on the inside. It's uh, 110 so far. I'm gonna cook this to around 160, so medium. I like when I'm cooking medium. So let me, let me flip it around and check the other side. Look at this, guys. Maybe I can, uh, I don't know, mess up, seasoning right there. Let me see if I can put some more seasoning on this side in a second. Right there. Should melt it down really quick. But yeah, so far it looks and it smells amazing. By the way, I changed the camera resolution to 4K so you can see like more details. It's gonna take me a long time now to to edit this video because it's 4K. I have an old school computer. But let me see. There we go. Come on, meltdown. down. Okay. You heard that? 
Time to see it, I guess. The holes are hot, so yeah. Let me, let me move it over to the other side. Let's see. Oh, look at this, guys. Looks perfect. Yeah. I'm gonna drop it. Okay. I'm gonna sear it down. A minute on each side, I guess. And then I'm gonna uh, have some more seasoning right there. I'm gonna season it again and uh, I'm gonna lay this right on here so I can make the chicken wings as well. I'm getting, I'm getting hungry already. Yeah, look at that, guys. Mm. See? That butter and the fat is melting down, so it's causing the fire. That's good. A little closer. Turn this around. Look at this. Ooh, sizzling hot. Now look that side right there. Looks like a professional kitchen, I guess, right? some more seasoning and uh, I'll be right back all right here it is put some more seasoning in there it looks like roasted and super seared it's very very nice though spicy the rosemary especially smells amazingly okay let me let me try to measure this I guess somewhere in between the bones right there let's see one two it still has a long way to go at 160 I guess but yeah uh, I'll be right back in a second. Okay, I'm back. I put all the seasoning and everything. Uh, check the temps. It's like 120 so far. So I'm gonna put the wings in there as well. And then I'm gonna put the wings in here and the lamb in here till it's gonna be done. Meanwhile, inside my wife is doing some uh, wedges, like French fries, like wedges. Uh, so yeah. And also, I'll show you. I'm gonna make some bread in here, like special bread. I'm gonna show you. The garlic. Yeah. Okay. Hot wings. Mm. Okay. The secret with these wings, we gotta turn them very, like very fast. Otherwise, they they're gonna burn. See, already burning. Yeah. Fire's a little bit too strong. Mm, those wings smell good too. The wings, the lamb, man, that's a good day right here. Oh, come on. Yep, right there. Now it's gonna be a longer video, but it's what it is. You can see how I do it. Let I me mean, put the lid back and the. Uh, I'll be back in a few minutes, I'm gonna keep turning them, so when I take them off on the indirect side, I'll, I'll show you. Alright, so wings are almost ready. Lamp is, looks like it's 130 so far. Right now it's medium rare, so I'm gonna let it chill in here for another 10-15 minutes, we'll check. Wings are nice and crispy. Hot, of course. The charcoal is good. I'm gonna put the lid back on, close the vent a little bit, and... Uh, well, I'll let it chill in here. Look at that, I can see this charcoal and the fire through there. I need to adjust to this a little bit. Stick. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so if you want to start using the charcoal grill, and charcoal grill and you don't know which grill to get for a beginner, this grill right here, I think I paid 70 bucks for it or 65 bucks. 
just did those amazing job. Amazing, amazing job. Yeah. I did like five hours uh, beef rib smoking here and it's really great. And, uh, you know, easy to carry and all that. Yeah. Me, let me show you where the people come. The size difference right here. That's my regular performer I have, 22 inch, 18 inch. You can see right there. I use this as a shelf. Mm. Okay, I'll be I'll be right back and uh, I'll take everything off the grill and I'm gonna show you how I cook the make the toasted bread and all that. Just stay tuned. Okay, let's take a look. Wings looks ready. The lamp is looks ready as well, but the smell, man, smells amazing. Okay, let me let me take this up really quick. I have a plate ready in here. Just like this. Like that. Mm, the herbs, the herbs in here and all the spices that I put in smells amazing. Look at this. Okay, time to take these wings off really quick. 4K quality looks interesting and nice. So the details are crazy. Look at that. I have a little tiny camera, you know, but does a great job. Still hot. Yeah, so this grill, I just put like you see how much charcoal I put in there. If I close it up and close the vent halfway, it's gonna hold that heat in there for like three, four hours easily. But yeah. Uh, okay, this is how it looks overall. Let me take everything back inside and uh, I'll see you uh, I'll see you here again for when I do the bread. Okay. Okay, so. As I, as I said before, everything's back inside, I got the bread, just regular bread, just cut it in slices and uh, put it on the grill. You just need to toast it, it's not a big deal. So yeah, let's wait a second. So what I'm gonna do with this, I'm gonna toast it nicely on both sides and then uh, I'm gonna get some garlic and just rub it on like this and put some salt and uh, a little bit of oil and uh, it will taste amazing, like crunchy. Nice chicks already smoking. Oh, it's getting there. Okay. It's almost, almost ready. So yeah, that's uh, just, you're gonna toast it on both sides, like this. And uh, let me toast this, so it'll be easier off camera and uh, I'll be right back. Okay, so I took the bread off, as you can see, just slightly toasted. Get the uh, garlic like this, and just rub it on. Like this, both sides, nice and easy, like this. Okay. Do all of them, I guess, like this. This, uh, this is like Romanian way of garlic bread. European style. It's really, really, they never had something like this before. Even if you buy like, like uh, garlic bread, this doesn't taste like this. Okay, let's see, let's see this. Since it's toasted, it's gonna act like a sanding pepper, like that. The more you do, the better it is. Okay, I'm gonna put this aside. And then, just get a little bit of oil like this, just a tiny bit. Put too much, but if you put too much, just put, make, make sure of them like this. Okay, do a little bit more on this. Let's see, just a tiny, there we go. A little bit on this, like this. Okay, have all four, and then just get some salt. Just put a little bit of salt like this. All right, this is it, garlic, garlic, garlic bread, homemade garlic bread. That's delicious and it's crunchy. Okay. So as you can see, I got back inside. This bone just broke off like this, it's okay. Uh, yeah, let me turn this around so you can see. That's how it looks. Real lamb on uh, like the whole rack. So this rack is fresh, I bought it from Sprouts, it was uh, I think 18 bucks, so it's not, not, not that bad I guess. Let me see if I can cut this nicely. Okay, I have a slightly issue right there. But yeah, medium, I pull it out to like a 140, 145, but yeah, let me see if I can cut more. I'm not very good at cutting, so don't judge me on that. 
but yeah, let me let me cut this and uh, I'll be back with the plating. Okay, so I made the plating as nice as I could, I guess. It's not master shape, so yeah. And I also make some uh, homemade wrench in here. If you want to know how I make this, just uh, let me know and uh, I'll, I'll uh, make a video on this. It's really good. So, yes, I'm gonna put some wrench like this. Wrench with like uh, garlic and lamb, it's perfect right there. Yep, that's uh, how you make lamb on the grill. My way, I guess. Alright, so if you enjoyed this video, please uh, like and subscribe and share, of course. Let me know down in the comments what should I cook next. So, yeah, look at this. Perfect. Okay, alright, see you, see you on the next one.